Hi everybody, welcome to GT Coding. In this tutorial series, we are designing this responsive home page using Figma. And this is our progress as of now. We have designed the desktop version. Now in this video, we will start designing the tablet version. So let's get started. Now let's start by creating a frame. So let's click on frame and let's click over here. And let's select a template from here. So let's click on frame and let's select iPad Pro 11. And let's rename this to tablet. Now the first thing we will do is I just duplicate all these elements and bring it outside. So let's go into the desktop version and let's select the hero section and let's press alt and drag this over here. Now we can go ahead and position these elements over here inside the iPad frame. Now the first thing we will do is we'll just copy all of these menu items and uh, bring it over here. So I'll just double click over here and uh, copy and paste it over here. And before that let's copy and paste this uh, background gradient color. So let's double click over here and let's copy this and let's go over here and paste it over here. And I'll just adjust the size according to the frame of the iPad. So now here we can see we have these menu items. I will also bring this logo over here. So let's double click over here and I'll just copy and paste it over here. All right now the next thing we will do is we will change this button variant. So let's double click over here. And here we can see for this button, we have set the platform to desktop and let's change this to mobile. So this will be the button for the tablet version. Now the next thing we will do is we'll change the gap between these elements. So let's double click over here. And if you press alt, we can see that we have a spacing of 60 pixels. So let's move this uh, over here. We will set a space of 42 pixels and we will do the same for all the other elements. So let's double click over here and uh, let's change the spacing to 42 pixels. And we'll do the same for this about. All right, now let's select all of this and uh, let's bring it to the center. So I'll just press align vertical centers. All right now we will have a spacing of 60 pixels from the edges. So let's go over here to the right and uh, right now we have a spacing of 51 pixels. So let's move this 9 pixels to the left. And here for the logo, we will have a spacing of 60 pixels to the left. So let's do that over here. Right now let's select this logo and this menu items and let's click on align vertical centers. Right now let's select both of this and let's group it and I'll just name it menu bar. And from the top we will have a spacing of 60 pixels. So let's move this down. Right now let's go ahead and copy the other elements. So let's copy this image. So I'll just bring this over here and uh, let's select both of these cards and let's duplicate them and bring it over here and let's also select these three elements the heading this paragraph and this button and let's duplicate them and bring them over here and we'll just change this button to mobile right now let's go ahead and bring it to the left and we will have a spacing of 100 pixels and uh, we'll do the same for the right. And I'll just add a line break over here. Right now let's do the same for this paragraph. Let's bring it to the left. And we will have a spacing of 100 pixels. And even for the right, we will have a spacing of 100 pixels. So let's increase the width. Right now let's go ahead and bring this button to the left. And I think that looks all right. Now let's go ahead and increase the size of this image. So I'll just press shift and uh, increase the size. And let's bring this over here to the bottom right. And let's also position these over here to the bottom. And I think that looks all right. I think we can bring these elements to the bottom a little bit. And I think that looks all right. So now let's delete this. Now let's go ahead and increase the height of this frame. Now the next thing we will do is copy this uh, testimonials section. So I'll just duplicate this and bring this over here. Right now for the testimonials section, we will have the heading and this paragraph over here at the top. So let's double click over here and uh, let's bring this over here. And 
and uh, the first thing we will do is we will change the heading to tablet and these options are available over here because we had created it as a component now let's go ahead and uh, set a padding of 100 pixels so we'll have a spacing of 100 pixels from the left and from the right so right now we have a spacing of 137 pixels so let's bring this over here to the left and uh, let's also do this for the right now we will also have a margin of 100 pixels from this hero section so let's select this and uh, right now we have a spacing of 94 pixels let's bring this down a little bit and uh, now we have 100 pixels All right now let's bring this paragraph over here to the top and we will have the same spacing for this as well and uh, we'll also remove this line break from here so here I'll just remove this line break and uh, I think we need to bring this up a little bit I think that looks all right. All right now the next thing we will do is we will change the button platform so let's double click on this button and we'll set the platform to mobile and I'll just remove this button from this group so I'll just right click over here and click on ungroup and we will have this button at the bottom and before that we will have both the testimonials so let's go back over here and uh, let's bring these two testimonials over here Right now let's bring this over here to the bottom and uh, let's increase the width of these testimonial cards so I'll just double click over here and we will have a spacing of 100 pixels from the left and the right so I'll just increase the width let's do the same for this testimonial I'll just bring this up a little bit we will have a spacing of 40 pixels and uh, let's increase the width let's decrease the height of this uh, rectangle And we'll position this button over here at the bottom right and that's it with the testimonial section so let's select all of this and let's group this and we'll just name this testimonial section and we'll also group all of this and uh, we'll name this hero section and now we can go ahead and delete this uh, testimonial section from here Right now the next thing we will do is copy this our courses section from here and let's bring this over here first of all let's copy this background rectangle so I'll just copy this control C and press control V over here I'll just decrease the width and we will have a spacing of 100 pixels from the previous section so I'll just bring this up over here and we will have a spacing of 100 pixels right now let's go ahead and copy this heading so let's double click over here and uh, copy this over here and we'll change this heading to tablet and let's bring it to the center and now let's copy this course card so just copy this so I'll just double click over here and copy this and I'll just increase the height of this rectangle let's copy the second course card and bring this over here and let's also copy this button and bring this over here and let's change this button to mobile now for these cards we will increase the width so let's set the width matching with this uh, testimonials card and let's increase the width over here as well and I think we have a line break over here so let's delete that or now let's bring this card up and uh, we will have a spacing of I think 60 pixels looks all right or let's uh, increase it to 80 pixels and let's increase the width and that looks all right now let's bring this button up over here to the bottom right now let's decrease the height of this rectangle and I think that looks all right so that's it with the courses section so I'll just delete this and I'll just select all of this and let's group this and we'll just name it courses section right, now the next thing we will do is copy this uh, get our app section so I'll just copy all of this directly over here to the iPad frame and uh, let's change this heading to tablet 
and uh, let's bring this paragraph to the top and let's bring this to the center let's decrease the width and let's bring both of these to the top and I think that looks all right let's select all of this and uh, it's already a group so let's bring this up we will have a spacing of 100 pixels all right now the last thing we need to do is copy the footer so let's duplicate this and bring this over here and for the footer we will have a two column layout so first of all let's copy this background color so I'll just double click over here and copy this rectangle and paste it over here and let's drag this over here let's decrease the width and let's increase the height right now let's select this first part and the second part and let's drag them over here and let's position this correctly we will have a spacing of 100 pixels and let's select this section right here and let's duplicate this and bring this over here and let's bring this up a little bit and that looks all right and then finally let's select this text from here and uh, let's bring this over here and uh, I'll just position it over here and from the top we will have a spacing of 70 pixels so I'll just move this uh, rectangle to the bottom and I think we can move this up a little bit all right now let's decrease the height of this uh, rectangle and that looks all right so let's select all of this and uh, let's group this and we'll just name this footer and let's bring this up and we will have a spacing of 100 pixels and that looks all right now you can select and uh, delete this and that's it with the tablet version of our website so now we can just decrease the height of this frame and I'll just bring this over here to the left so now we have the desktop version and also the tablet version now in the next video we will design the mobile version so that's it for this video if you have any doubts you can ask in the comments below and if you like this video please click on the like button and subscribe to this channel to get the latest video updates thanks a lot for watching have a nice day